asked about my journey so this is an ideal medium to just talk about that for a moment because hopefully it will give you courage to shoot for the stars and you know just know that it's it's possible I think I've painted forever. My mum used to encourage me. I remember sitting at the dining room table and she would draw and I would draw. She would buy me books and we would talk about colour and she would anything that I did she really um, encouraged me to, to do and she gave me courage. She gave me freedom to be able to do what I wanted to do. I remember I had painted an oil painting and before it was dry she took it and had it framed. She phoned me from work that day, and I think I was only about six, and she asked me, she said that a lady at her work really loved it, and would I let her sell it to the lady? She felt that it was something that would be good for me, and it would be lovely for the lady. So I said yes, and, and I remember mum asking me how much um, I should sell it for. And... Um, I said, oh, how much I would sell it for, and I said, oh, twenty dollars. And Mum laughed. She said it just cost her more than that for the frame, but that was my first professional sale, and it's amazing how that encouraged me to uh, to keep going. And just those sorts of things, that sort of belief in in us, gives us belief in ourselves, and that's so important. From there, I started working in oils, and really through my teenage years right up into my early 20s I'd maybe paint one or two paintings a year and you know when you're working and you've got a young family that's you know all the time you have then I think there are windows of time in life where you have more time you have more freedom to, to just explore these things and we were going overseas and I gave up my job before I went and when we were overseas, I went to all the big galleries and just felt blown away by what I saw. And I was so passionate about it that when I came back, my husband said, go and get the best materials you can, give yourself the best chance. And if it doesn't work, you can't blame the materials. So that was really quite amusing. But, you know, it really did set me on my path to discovering what I really wanted to do. And, and it helped me... Um, explore all sorts of different mediums and now I paint exclusively in oil or watercolour. I love both mediums equally. Um, I won a competition which then it was a magazine competition and from there I, um, I think I had about 12 maybe 15 magazine covers for that magazine and that was great exposure. Then in the mid-1990s I was asked by Northlight Books to write a book on my painting style, which I did, and I think that sold over 60,000 copies worldwide. So once again, that really did give me incredible exposure worldwide. The demand for teaching and for DVDs became very strong, so we walked down that road and we created DVDs and we're still selling the DVDs and creating more DVDs and they've they have gone worldwide and the feedback every day from those is fantastic it really is quite quite humbling and you know we hear such beautiful stories of people who have found that um, that watercolor has also um, enriched their lives and it, you know it's, it's just amazing when you hear those um, beautiful story sometimes from adversity to becoming a professional artist and and you know it makes you realize that everything that you put out there is um, is something that may be a little help along the way and that's really very humbling um, we now um, I, I exhibit about every three or four years um, and we usually get between three and four thousand people who come to the they're just two-day exhibitions they come from throughout New Zealand Australia and even some from North America so that's really lovely um, we also lead painting tours um, the painting 
my husband does photography and he also teaches um, wine appreciation so these tours are to Europe so you know that's another extension of the art and we go to galleries and and we sit in the ancient streets and we paint and you know maybe in a um, in a field of wildflowers wild orchids and um, you know maybe in the Swiss Alps or um, you know in Venice the old cracked walls, the um, peeling paint, the beautiful character and the architecture. It's, it's just so compelling. So these, these trips are, are lots of fun. And as I said, it's just another arm to what we do. And um, it, you know, as I said, it all goes back to the encouragement that I had when I was a child. So this journey has been an amazing journey and it's ever evolving. And I feel incredibly fortunate that um, I have the support of so many people and that um, my art exposes me to so many incredible places and incredible people. So I, I hope that this little story will help you along your way too and um, you know, I certainly wish you all the best but the big thing is believe in yourself, know that you can reach the stars, you just have to decide that yes you can do it and you'll be amazed, you'll get there. All the best. Mm -hmm.